Hello everyone, today I have a sketchbook tour video for you. So I have just filled up this Hanamule watercolor sketchbook and today I want to show you what's inside. By the way, I have a full review for this sketchbook in a separate video. So if you want to check out the review, the link is in the video description below. So this is the first sketch that I drew in this sketchbook and it was drawn on the 17th of July 2018. That is like six or seven months ago. It's a rather detailed sketch and I'm quite happy with how the paper is able to handle the watercolor. This is not 100% cotton paper, so there are certain limitations, but overall it still handles watercolor quite well. So for these two pages, I tried to test out the sepia paint that I have just bought. I compare it with the Daniel Smith Walnut ink. And sepia is a nice color for quick tonal studies like this. Many of these sketches, they were actually featured in my YouTube videos. You may have seen them before. So for these two pages, I was testing out the different versions of paints gray. This sketch was drawn with the help of a reference photo. This was drawn on location. I actually forgot to write the date and the place for this, so I need to go back and write it before I forget where this is. So for these two pages, I was testing out this limited color palette. Now the watercolor brand is Blocks. So we have these three colors. Gamboche, Primary Blue, and Crimson Lake. This was drawn with pen and ink, and this was drawn with pencil. A very blunt pencil. More color studies. These are swatches from the Sennelli Aqua Mini box. That tiny box. These are some of the mixtures you can get from this eight colors. Another limited color palette study. This was drawn on location as well. This was drawn in August 2018. I still remember drawing this sketch because on that day I went down to the Society of Physical Disabled to collect my custom made sketchbooks. So this is pen and ink with watercolor and some white gel pen for the extra details. This is Kampong Java Park. We had the sketch walk that month at this park that was going to close down and it has already been boarded up because the government wanted to built an expressway under so they had to sort of remove this park so we sketched there a few days before this whole park was closed and i used a lot of sap green for this particular sketch more color studies so this sketchbook is actually quite good for color studies like this because the paper is white enough and it's able to show off the vibrancy the intensity of the colors quite nicely this is cathedral of the good shepherd and this is also the same uh, place for this particular sketch i use pen and ink with a limited color palette. I cannot remember the exact colors. For this particular sketch, it's drawn with pencil and I painted this with another color palette. So, I mean, it looks the same, but it feels a bit different. So I can see ultramarine here. And for this particular sketch, it's probably painted with phthalo blue. So this sketch has more granulation and this sketch is more, well, it doesn't have any of the textures. More color studies. I compared the new, new Gamboche with the previous version. A 
limited color palettes lemon yellow quinacridon lilac phthalo blue lemon yellow french ultramarine pyro scarlet i think it's good to test out your colors before you use them with your actual um, sketches like this because you don't want any surprises some colors will work well with each other some will not so it's good to test out uh, your palette and you will know the limitation of your palettes as well so if you want something like if you want bright purples like this then you have to choose specific colors to get that uh, bright purple not all red and blues will give you bright or intense purples so this was created for a youtube video mixed media drawing i painted this first i believe if i remember correctly and then i drew some of the lines after i painted this is another sketch that i painted using mixed media This was drawn on location, was it? Actually, I cannot remember, so probably not. So for sketches that I draw on location, I can remember, but for sketches that are not... Oh, did I draw this on location? I think I did. Um, the reason why I remember drawing this on location is because the lines, they are too sketchy. If I can draw this at home, I will have more, I will definitely have more time and I will be able to draw more details. So this was drawn very fast on location. And because I drew it so fast, I cannot remember drawing it uh, right now. But I did because on the, I started on the left side. Because the left side, you can see the lines here, they are straighter. There are more details here. And then as I move towards the right side, I started to lose my concentration. And so the lines, they become a bit wobbly and there are less and less details. It's a very, I remember it was a very hot day. Perhaps that's why I drew very fast. So this was drawn at Old Taichung train station during the Asia Link sketch walk that happened in October last year. It's a very beautiful old station. The new station was uh, behind. This was also drawn in Taichung. This, this place, this is in front of the train station. So if you turn 180 degrees, you will see this. And there are a lot of office blocks in front and many of these people they are actually sketchers who were there for the Asia link sketch walk if you want to check out the videos i've made for the asia link sketch walk i'll put the links in the video description below here i compared the new sub green versus the old sub green so this is the new one this is the old one They look pretty similar. There are some subtle differences, but overall are uh, pretty similar. Daniel Smith Cerulean Blue versus Cerulean Blue Chromium. This is PB35 versus PB36. The granulation is different, the hue, the color is slightly different. So when you mix it with burnt sienna, you can get um, different mixes. And if you prefer textures, go with cerulean blue if you prefer the without so much texture you can go with cerulean blue chromium i have been using cerulean blue chromium for the longest time and i'm actually quite surprised to find that cerulean blue has more texture compared to the chromium version this is this is another sketch that i created for one of the youtube videos For these two pages, I was swatching out the colors that I received from, from Nina Colori. It's, a, it's an Italian company, if I remember correctly. So they sent me some colors to test out. And these are the color swatches that I have painted. I haven't used much of it because I have too many other watercolor, uh, too, too many watercolors that I have yet to finish using. 
uh, but since I have just filled up this sketchbook in the next sketchbook I will try and use more of this particular brand before I give you the detailed review and the colors they look they look very nice so for this particular sketch well this sketch was actually created for a tutorial after I finished drawing this I did not like it that much so I redid it uh, here and for this particular sketch um, this was drawn with the help of a reference photo as well I wanted to create a YouTube video for this using a limited I mean this sketch is actually for a limited color palette video but I did not like the way this sketch turned out so I did not make that video eventually and that's also the reason why you should test out your colors first because not all colors will work nicely together and in this case it didn't so um, I didn't make that video here's another uh, sketch drawn for the limited color palette video Hansa yellow medium permanent Alizari crimson and O Holland's cobalt blue deep many of the colors many of the paint that I use are actually from Daniel Smith and this is the pencil sketch it's a very quick pencil sketch and the texture I mean the surface of this sketch is a bit different compared to this because it has a slight gloss I remember spraying fixative over to protect the pencil lines that's why there's this slight gloss from the fixative watercolor when it dries it's permanent so you don't really need to protect it uh, you can if you want to but you don't need to I uh, spray fixative because of the pencil lines when I close my sketchbook like this or when the pages uh, rub against each other sometimes the pencil lines the graphite may actually uh, come off and go onto the opposite page so that's why I spray and I believe I did so for this page as well so this was colored with a limited color palette as well it's a very warm uh, color palette and for this I believe I was testing out the different red inks and the red pencils that I have I think this sketch turned out really well and this also this was drawn yesterday so this is the last sketch in this sketchbook that I drew and this is actually for a limited color palette video as well hazel yellow in dendrum blue with a Newton Scarlet Lake it's a very detailed um, street scene in Taichung this was drawn with the help of a reference photo as well it would be very difficult to um, it would be challenging it would be very challenging to draw vehicles like this because they are always moving unless you can really draw very fast and the tip to drawing vehicles quickly is to wait until they stop at the traffic light and start drawing and draw them quickly before they move off or before the light turns green these are some buses of Singapore I was drawing this with uh, different color inks this is one of my favorite sketches drawn in this sketchbook this is the Asian Civilization Museum so for this particular sketch I used a pen with a very thin line and the look and feel is very different compared to my other sketches I usually draw with medium lines but here the lines they are a bit thinner and this sketch it feels more more delicate because of the thinner lines this sketch was drawn for another limited color palette video and I didn't like the way it turned out so um, I didn't make any video for this mainly because there wasn't a lot of detail in this uh, particular scene even though that reference photo showed a lot of detail but uh, for my sketch I think I simplified it too much to the point that it looks 
a bit too simplif oversimplified. Now, when you're sketching on larger pieces of paper, but you don't have a lot of details, um, the sketch may not look good. So if you are if this sketch is reduced for a smaller sketchbook, then it may look all right. But I mean, this is an A5 pitch, and I don't think it has enough details to hold up. This was drawn at the Asian Civilization Museum. I've got to write down the date again. I need to go back and write this down. So this was drawn with the zebra zebra genie. This was drawn during the sketch walk that happened last month in January. And this is the sketch of the viaduct drawn on 14th of February 2019. I like this sketch as well. This was very challenging to draw, but it's very fun to draw. I liked it how uh, this sketch turned out. I'll probably go back to this place again because there are actually many different places where I can draw the viaduct from. And yeah, so that's all for this sketchbook tour. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.